hallway. As you can see, it's quite a nice solid door. Um, going into the street, you get all your mail put into a mailbox. It's locked door with buzzers. And yes, that is the beach. That's a, that's literally how close we are to the beach. We shall take a walk down. But as you can see up here, you got one up here is for sale. One up here for rent. Um, pretty much, it, it, it's an empty town at this time of year. It, which may may be a bit negative if you're living on your own. But as you can see, there's another one for sale here. Um, but if you look up, you won't see many shutters open. There are some people in some of them, but the majority of them are empty. I would say it's probably only about a quarter of the population here at the moment, if that. Because um, I know, statistically, the population grows at full in full season from whatever it is, um, well, what the normal population is about 10% of what it is in the holiday season. But all the streets are well laid out as well. The only problem I get is one-way systems are everywhere. Um, so getting to some of these places, although it's easy, you do wonder why you go round and round in circles, because the one-way system's taking you round and round in circles. But as you can see, pretty quiet. Hardly anybody here. <laughs> At the same time, it's nice this time of year because I was here in June and it was really busy in June. Um, the thing I'm dreading in high season now is parking, which to be honest, if it's this busy in high season, I'll probably get rid of the car because we've got a good bus service here. But as you can see, now walk to the beach and blue water and sand as far as you can see. Obviously we've got restaurants all the way along the front which are open in at this time of year as well. So for me um, this is this is where we live, and it's where we're going to be for the next year. Um, and to be honest, if we like it this year, I might even buy a place in this town, um, not just in Spain, but literally in this town, because I don't want to be in too big a tourist area. At the same time, I want some of the essentials, like the uh, bus to the uh, airport and access to the bus and market for um, April when I'm not here. Also, where this sign goes, it's all, uh, you can walk for miles all the way up there. But also from the, that sign upwards, every Wednesday is a food market where you can pretty much get everything you need for the week without leaving the house. Well, for us it's sort of like leaving the house and going around the corner. But it goes from here all the way to the top of the street. Um, if you've seen my Lamata market photos, that's that's what it is. It's actually this road. Um, I'll just wander up here so you can see. So it goes from here, which you would normally like. I think there's a chicken station and then guys selling cakes and stuff all the way to the top on both sides of the road then it goes around the corner a little bit and that's the market area so that's pretty much it um, hope you enjoyed watching the video but I'm going to do a follow up on why we were here anyway because although a lot of people are doing it for immigration reasons we're actually doing it for economic reasons um, I see Spain has been extremely viable at the moment like I said house prices have dropped here by 4% which, when you say 4% doesn't sound a lot, but if you said 100,000 euros and it's um, dropped by 4,000 euros in a year, 
This sounds a bit better, doesn't it? 4,000 euros um, in your pocket because you're buying, not selling. Um, but you can see it's very beautiful here. And we love it. No complaints whatsoever.